This amazing geometry question will make you go sleepless at night. We have three squares each having an area of four square units, and then we have this blue right-angled triangle. Our job is to find the value of its area. So, can you solve it? Okay, we have multiple ways to solve it, and the one I have chosen is using coordinate geometry. It will make the problem much more simpler and intuitive. Let us define this point as the origin of our coordinate system. Now, since the area of all of these squares is four square units, therefore, the length of each square will be two units. Thus, the coordinate of this vertex will be 2 plus 2, plus 2 or 6, comma 0. Then this point will be 0, comma 2. Also, the coordinate of this point will be 4 in x direction and 2 units in the y direction. Great! Now somehow we need to figure out the coordinate of this vertex of the triangle to solve this question. To do that, first consider this line. We have two points, and using them we can find the equation of this line using the two-point form formula, which is this. Let us call this as x1, y1, and this as x2, y2. So let us substitute it in this formula to get this. Right side will become 2 minus 0, divided by 4 minus 6, or 2, upon negative 2 or minus 1. So, y minus 2 equals minus 1 times x minus 4, which will become 4 minus x. So, y will be 4 minus x plus 2 or 6 minus x. Amazing! Now, in order to find the coordinate of this vertex of the triangle, next we will consider this line. The slope of this line will be given as 2 minus 0 upon 0, minus 6, or minus 2 by 6, or minus 1 by 3. Now here comes the magic. We know that the product of the slope of two perpendicular lines is always negative 1. So if we call the slope of this line as m, then m times minus 1 by 3 equals minus 1. So m equals 3. Wow! Awesome! So, using the slope point formula, the equation of this line will be y minus 2 equals 3 times x minus 0. So, y equals 3x plus 2. Nice. So, we can now equate both of these y to get 3x plus 2 equals 6 minus x. This gives 4x equals 6 minus 2, or 4, which gives x equals 1. So, using this, we get y equals 6 minus 1 or 5. Thus, this point will be 1 comma 5. Now, this is 6 and this is 2. So, this hypotenuse will be the root of 6 square plus 2 square. Or, it will be root of 36 plus 4 or root 40. Now, we have these two points. So, we can find out the distance between them, which will be root of 1 minus 0 whole square plus 5 minus 2 whole square, or 1 square plus 3 square, which will be root 10. So far, so good. Now this final part is the easiest one where the area of this blue right triangle will be base times its height by 2, or root 40 times, root 10 by 2, or root 400 by 2. Root 400 equals 20. So the answer will be 10 square units. Now can you solve the same question using any other method, like the one I have in my mind is using trigonometry? Use the following hint if you want. Call this angle as alpha, and this side as x. Now since this is 45 degrees, so this will become 90 minus 45 minus alpha, or 45 minus alpha. Lastly, use tan of alpha and tan of 45 minus alpha to find x, and you are done. Let me know in the comments if you are able to solve it. So good!